Hi everybody, it's Elle with Uncaged International and I have a question to ask you. The question is, what do you do when you are down to nothing? What do you do when you are completely stripped of everything? Your, your confidence, what do you do when you're completely stripped of your dreams and your hopes and your faith and everything? and you just find yourself in the bottom of a hole that you dug and you put yourself there, but what do you do? What do you do when you've burned every single bridge and you're standing out on the, on the edge of your little world that you created and you're the only one there? What do you do? You know, my favorite quote is by Lisa Bevere and it's, who you are in the fire is who you are. And I would always quote that and I would always put it in my blogs and I would put it on my websites and stuff because it was it's it's really cool it's super cool you know it's it, who you are in the fire is who you are it's catchy but you know this past week in in things that I was facing and things that my husband and I were facing in our ministry and in our family and in our marriage you know that quote really came to life for me because it felt like everything was on fire and not in a good way. It just felt like, you know, we were, that our house went just caught up in flames and we were stuck in the middle of it. And it was like fight or flight, you know, like, okay, save yourself or stay there and help save your family kind of thing. And um, you really do come to face to face with who you are when your world starts falling apart. And um, like this past weekend, when my world started falling apart, everything that I've built, keyword that I've, I've, I've built, started falling apart, I wanted to run. I wanted to take cover. I wanted to hide. But like I said, it was the world that I built. You know, I, I forgot just getting caught up with everything with ministry. And, and we are, we are completely doing what God has called us to do. We're following a dream and a vision that God has given us, but there was a, there's some place along the line where, um, you know, I started taking things into my own hands with what he's given me. And, um, and that's not good because I know from experience that when I start building things and I start doing things and I start creating things and I start doing things on my own power and my own abilities, especially things that is, that's just bigger than me, it's, it's never going to stand. It can't. You know, if God's calling you to do something, it's because he's going to be doing it through you, not me doing it through me for him. It just doesn't work that way. But, um, like I said, I really want you to think about that. Like, what do you do? What do you do when you're down to nothing? What do you do when everything is going crazy? And, and kind of like reflect on that and think about like how it all turned out and then and then just know that there's something more that can be done there's there's a better way there's a better way of doing things there's a better place to be you don't have to run away you don't have to hide under a rock you don't have to run away from your marriages or your friendships or your relationships or anything like that you don't there's a place where you can go there's there's a there's a person that you can run to and it's going to make everything all right as cliche as that sounds like when i found jesus it, it i'm thinking to myself like please like there's no way that some god is going to help me through anything he's not even real like i can't touch him i can't see him and then but then i really did because i had no other option i had no one else to turn to like i've i had completely exhausted every single thing that I had in my life and then finally I was like okay God you know here's what here's what I did with my life all in these little pieces you take it and you show me what you can do with it and he did and that's why I'm here and not dead or crazy or something or standing on a corner you know use your imagination don't ever forget that God is there for you and that he is on your side and that he will help you. But um, before this becomes a super duper long video, I'm going to sign out. And hopefully I can make another one later. 
um, depending on how these kids are. But till then, as Brett would say, uncage your potential to uncage your dreams.